Dudes and dudettes, welcome back to the Ice Age. My name is Iceman, and I'm bringing you another Halo 5 video. This time around, I wanted to teach you guys some tips and tricks that I've learned with some jumping spots in Warzone. Uh, these are tips and tricks that I've seen other people do, I've found in other videos and streams. I have not discovered any of them myself, but I have seen them used and used them frequently myself. So you'll notice that I'm not currently in Warzone. I'm in a little stage that I quickly set up in Forge to showcase one of the tricks that I will be doing pretty consistently throughout this video, and that is crouch jumping. So I know that in previous Halo games, crouching during your jump was pretty common. Uh, it was very common in gunfights. It was a common way to hop over obstacles. But it seems to have kind of lost favor in Halo 5 due to the new auto-stabilization mechanic. I don't actually use auto-stabilize due to my control scheme, but I do use crouching pretty frequently for my jumps, and that's what I wanted to show you guys real quick today. So let me uh, move this camera a little bit so you guys can see this better. So I've set up these two blocks here, the block to the left, is um, a block that can be clambered onto without any crouching whatsoever. So you notice with my Spartan down here, if I just jump and clamber, I am able to climb onto this block no problem. However, the block on the right, I've set up to be too tall to jump and clamber onto. So if I jump and clamber, holding the clamber button, according to my control scheme, I'm not able to reach the top of that block. But if I jump and hold crouch at the same time, I'm able to climb right onto the top of this block, no problem. So the reason for that is that in Halo 5, if I jump here, you'll see that the top of my Spartan's head, let me move the camera up a little bit so you guys can see this. So jumping without clambering, the top of my Spartan's head comes just level with the top of this block. And basically that is, from what I can tell, the limit on what your Spartan can clamber onto. So that if I jump and clamber, the top of my head was at that level, so I'm able to grab it. With this block, the top of my head does not come close to the top of this block, but when you jump and crouch, if I do this over here so you guys can see it, jumping and crouching will actually change your Spartan's hitbox, and that's why it was so useful in gunfights in previous games. So basically what happens is if you jump and crouch, it will change your hitbox enough so that the game moves the top of that clamber zone to a slightly higher area than it was before. So when I jump and crouch, it changes my hitbox, allows me to climb right up on top of this block, no problem. So I wanted to show you guys this because I will be using this trick in pretty much all of my jumps in Warzone, and I just wanted to make sure that you guys understood what kind of benefit, what kind of height advantage this gives you. It's not, you know, double or anything like that, but it is a short advantage, and there's really no reason not to use it. So I just wanted to get this out there so you guys understand how I'm doing some of my jumps that you see in this video. All right, so let's get to the actual jumps. Alright guys, here we are at the really the only fortress jump that I like to do. I'm currently on the Skirmish at Darkstar map. This will work on any map with a fortress, such as March on Stormbreak. And what I'm going to be showing you is how to get from this bottom middle wreck station up to these platforms right here next to the side entrance doors. So this one's very straightforward. Um, all you're really going to be doing is using this cylinder right here as your platform to boost yourself up to either of those two ledges. So all you do is you can jump and clamber onto the top of this and then jump and clamber onto this platform like that. It's really straightforward, it's really easy. It's a better option sometimes than having to run up this ramp when you can just start down here, pick up a weapon, hop up to this, hop up to this, and fight the guys trying to enter your fortress. Pretty straightforward. All right guys, here we are. This is going to be an armory jump that will get you from outside the armory right here up to the third floor of the armory right there pretty easily. This will work on any map that has armories. I'm currently on Escape from Ark. It will also work on March on Stormbreak and Raid on Epic 7, as well as the new Skirmish at Darkstar, which also has armories. So basically the way this works 
is you're going to be able to use this little ledge right here to hop straight up onto that ledge up there. So the way that I do this is you have to hop first onto this railing right here. And you need to jump up there without hitting your head on this. So basically what's going to happen is you're going to look more this way. You're going to jump out this way and then turn while doing your crouch and clamber to get up onto that ledge right there. So basically it looks like this. And I grab right onto this little corner right here. And I'm easily able to pull myself up. So basically, to show you that again, the way this works is you can hop up onto this right here. Then you're going to jump out and turn as you're doing your clamber like that. And I'm again, I'm crouching. So make sure to remember to do that. Otherwise, you won't be able to jump quite high enough to grab this ledge. So that's a pretty cool jump. I'm a big fan of this one. This helps uh, when you're rushing at the beginning of the map if you want to steal somebody else's armory. So take note of this one and practice it. Uh, and I think you'll get very good at it. Alright guys, now I want to show you some garage structure jumps. Again, I'm here on Escape from Ark in the garage. This will work on any garage structure, so make sure you take note when you find a new map that has one. Uh, there's a couple ways to get up onto the top of this, on um, basically the ceiling of the garage, and I wanted to show you a couple of those. Um, there's, on Ark, there's an easy one to run right up that ledge right there underneath that truck and hop right onto the top underneath the tree. That's an easy way. But I wanted to show you guys a very simple one that is useful if you, own, if you own West Armory or if you're trying to attack West Armory. You can basically use this structure right here. And it, again, it's a crouch jump. You can just hop right up onto this corner right here with a crouch jump. Very straightforward, and then you can walk right up here. A lot of people know about this, but I've also seen a lot of people who get very confused by it. So it's literally just a crouch jump up onto this arm, and then you can walk right up on top. Very straightforward. Alright guys, here we are at the second way that I like to get up on top of the garage. This is also useful if you play Warzone Assault on Escape from Ark, because you spawn right up here if you're the attacking team and you can get right up on top using this trick. So this one's pretty straightforward as well. You can jump and clamber onto this structure, and walk right up here to the top, and then you can literally just boost jump right onto that ledge right there, or onto that ledge up there. So if you just sprint and boost, you can just clamber right up on top like that. So as long as this guy doesn't kill me, I can show you that again. Basically, you're down here on the ground, you can hop up onto this little structure, this little house. You're, you can aim for that, or you can aim for that, it's really up to you. But it's just a sprint and a thrust, and then you can hop right up on top of the base, just like that, nice and easy. So, pretty straightforward as well. And there's uh, one more jump that I want to show you guys. Alright, here we are at the third and final garage jump that I like to do. I'm doing this on Battle of Noctis. This is a little bit easier for me to do this jump on because it's a little calmer at the beginning of the game like this. Uh, so basically what's going to happen is we're going to jump straight up the front of this building, basically right here, onto the roof. Um, so basically the first step is get on top of this cylinder right here, which is easy enough to do with these boxes. You hop right on top of this guy. Next step is this little nub right here. So just sticks out just enough for you to stand on. Third step is this black cylinder, so you can uh, clamber onto this, like that, right there, and then it's just one more jump, and you're up on the roof, which is a pretty sweet setup. This is easy to do on maps like Escape from Ark. Uh, even if you don't have the garage captured for your team, because you're basically coming straight up a side of the base that nobody is normally looking at. So that's a pretty handy way to do that. So let's show you that again. So basically what it is is this big cylinder right here, to that corner right there, that little white corner, then to the top of this black cylinder, and then onto the roof. So up up here, onto this cylinder, up up here, onto this white nub. Third step is onto this black cylinder right here, and lastly, all the way up here onto the roof, which is a pretty nice little route. I've only seen this one done a couple of times, but uh, should be a pretty handy route for you guys to know.
Alright guys, here we are at my uh, last set of tips for jumping in Warzone. We're on Raid on Apex 7 and I want to show you guys how to get into the pillboxes for each team. Uh, we're standing here outside the blue pillbox, obviously the red pillbox is on the other side of the spire over there. Uh, the blue pillbox is the easier one to get into and it revolves around this rock right here. Uh, so basically what the plan is, is we're going to run right up this little spire right here and just hop right in that window. So basically it's just a run, thrust, jump, but when you get to the window you're going to have to crouch because it's a little too short to actually walk in. So it basically looks like this. You hop up on the rock, sprint, jump, thrust, clamber, and then crouch. And you can walk right in the window. I got a little lucky there with the with the shots, but you got to remember that when you're clambering here on the ledge, you want to make sure you crouch so you can fit in the window. So hopefully, let me see if I can show you guys that again real quick. Hopefully nobody's around waiting to kill me, but so basically you hop up on this little rock right here, run, jump, thrust, clamber, and right, you're on the ledge, you want to crouch and walk in there. So, let's get back in there one more time. Run, jump, thrust, crouch, and you can walk right in. So this one's more straightforward than the red nest, and I'll show you guys that one in just a second. So here we are outside of the last jump. This is the red nest on Raid on Apex 7. Spire's right there. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to hop in to that pillbox as well. And the key is this set of rocks right here, and then we're going to go in that door right there. So uh, you can walk over here. This one's a little trickier than the blue side, but basically you want to hop up onto this set of rocks, and you want to clamber onto that ledge right there. So basically you just jump over here and clamber, so you're sitting on this. Now what you're going to do is similar to the armory jump that you saw earlier in the video because you would hit your head on this piece of rock right here. You don't want to hit your head on that. So we're going to jump out a little bit over there and then turn and land up on that ledge right there. So basically jump out, turn, easy as pie, hop up in here, and then you're up in their pillbox. So pretty... Pretty easy once you get the hang of it, but it can take a little bit of practice to get right. Um, when these guys are gone, uh, he's lagging. I'll show you guys how to do that again in a second. So um, basically to recap, we were on that ledge right there. Then we jumped out and turned onto this ledge right here. So let's finish him off. And I'll show you that again. So basically you want to be standing right here. We're going to hop up onto this little thing right here with the clamber. Then we're going to jump straight out. And as we're out in the air, we're going to crouch and turn to the left uh, while clambering. And we're going to end up on that ledge right there. I missed it that time. Let's try that again. Basically on this ledge, jump out and turn. And you can add a little thrust if you want. And then you're right back up at their pillbox. So... I'll let those guys pass, but I think you guys should be able to get the idea out of that. Um, so let me know down in the comments if you guys knew about these jumps already, um, or if there's any other jumps that you've seen that you want me to go over. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, stay frosty.